Welcome back. This is Mr. Erlen, continuing in our effort to construct elements associated with parallel lines and intersecting lines, the pill unit, parallel and intersecting lines. We're going to be constructing parallel lines. We're going to start by constructing parallel lines using corresponding angles. If I'm going to construct parallel lines, my first step has to be to have a line that it is parallel to. I'll then draw some other line. It doesn't matter. This is my transversal. And it doesn't really matter at what angle that goes. My point is, because I'm going for corresponding angles, I'm going to copy this angle up to here. So I'll establish some point through which my parallel line will go. And now I'm going to build a congruent angle. It's like a copying of an angle. If I make an arc with my compass, and then I carry that up to my new vertex for my new angle, make that same arc. Then I come back and measure the mouth of the arc my original angle, leaving a line there to indicate that's where I'm pulling it from. I want to find that same distance here. I'm going to have to turn this around to demonstrate that this opening is the same size as this opening. Therefore, this point of intersection between the two arcs, when connected with my original new vertex, should yield a line that is parallel due to my having produced corresponding angles that are congruent. Now we'll do the same idea using alternate interior angles. I begin with a line, a segment in this case, because I know I want to produce it parallel to that. I'll create my tra transversal. I'll pick some point along my transversal to copy an angle. And this time, instead of copying it into a corresponding angle relationship, I'm going to copy it into an alternate interior angle relationship. But the point remains the same. From this vertex, I'll make an arc. I'll then carry that arc to my new point, directing it to fall where I expect the alternate interior angle to be. Take my compass and open it up to just the right size to measure the mouth of my original angle carry that to measure the mouth of my new angle. I take this point of intersection. I should be able to connect this point with my point of intersection. And what it produces is two lines that are parallel based on my alternate interior angles being congruent. Lastly, I should be able to produce parallel should be able to produce parallel <laughs> Lastly, I should be able to produce parallel lines based on perpendicular to perpendicular. In other words, if I begin my line segment, I can construct a line perpendicular by using my perpendicular bisector. Connecting the endpoints of the football will yield a line that is perpendicular to my original. And now, I want to construct a line up here that is parallel to this line. Well, if these two are perpendicular, and I turn my paper this way, I should be able to construct a line that is perpendicular to this one. And if it's perpendicular to a perpendicular line, it should end up parallel to the original. These two are both perpendicular. Therefore, these lines are parallel. And we could justify that by demonstrating if these are both 90 degree angles, they fall in the same side interior relationship. Therefore, they are supplementary, which forces these lines to be parallel. We could also recognize that because this is a right angle and this makes a linear pair, these two will both be right angles. Therefore, my corresponding angles are congruent. That concludes Pill 51, constructing parallel lines using a variety of methods.